So if you want to get your hands on one of these. So thanks for joining us today at the Clinch River Homestead. I'm John. And if you're like many of the other people out there that bought one of these things and the strap ripped off the side, stick around and we're going to show you a very good solution. So like I said earlier, we've got this 40 gallon container for, for us watering our orchard down here. It's great for doing that, but the strap that they put on this thing, not so great. So every time we come down to water everything and we have the hose in the back here, it gets stuck between the container and the bed. I had to come up with a solution. If you own a Polaris Ranger, then this one might be for you. There's our solution never get stuck anymore. If you need to hang anything out on the side, you can. You can put it in any position you want. By the way, this thing did take 15 hours to print. So you want to go out here and water your plants. You don't want to get out of your UTV. We could do that now because a hose won't get stuck in the rear tires. Used to, not anymore. So if you want to get your hands on one of these for the low, low price of $19.99, I'm just kidding. I just wanted to show everybody my solution that I had. And if you want to see more on how I created it, uh, stay watching the video because I'm going to show you the design process and I've got a really cool time lapse of the printing process. If you're into that kind of thing, stay tuned because it's a pretty cool process. And if you're going to end the video with us now, I want to thank everybody for joining us and I want to thank you for uh, coming to see my new invention that I made here for the Clinch River Homestead UTV. So if you like this video and you'd like to see more video content like this, hit that subscribe button, tick that little bell, and as always, smash that thumbs up button. We'll see you on the next one. All right, roll the creation process. So if you stuck around with us this far, I'd like to thank you uh, for sticking around and watching this process. Uh, it is a pretty exciting process because you're able to create something in a 3D workspace and uh, bring it to life on a 3D printer or CNC mill. So uh, that's what's really awesome about this whole process, especially for homesteading. So uh, what you're seeing right here is a creation on a program called Fusion 360. It's a 3D CAD modeling software uh, that is a free download from Autodesk. If you're just getting started out in 3D CAD modeling, I might suggest uh, go online to tinkercad.com. It is a much easier software to use, uh, much more user friendly, uh, and it is a great to get your foot in the door, get your feet wet, so to speak, so that uh, you can make some models yourself and get 3D printing them uh, for your farm, homestead, uh, or just uh, general pleasure. So uh, again, I'd like to thank everybody for uh, sticking around and watching this. Uh, if you wait till the end, I am going to have a complete time lapse of the entire process. It's probably only about a minute long. But the whole print, like I said earlier, was about 15 hours long. So the printing process does take quite a bit of time, depending on what kind of printer you have. If you like more information on printers, or you want to get started in 3D printing or modeling, and you have some questions, go ahead and pop them down in the comments below. I'm always happy to uh, review those and uh, get back with you, as I'm always excited to uh, share knowledge on that uh, aspect. So again, uh, we're just finishing up the uh, design process. Uh, at the very end of this, I'm going to show you uh, what it's going to look like uh, fully rendered. Uh, and that means without all the constraints and dimensions on everything here. And then uh, right from that, we're going to go right into the printing process. Again, thanks everybody for joining us. Uh, if you'd like to see more content like this in the future, hit that like button, subscribe, and tick that little bell. Uh, much appreciated. And uh, we'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching. All right, so we're just about finishing up here. This is the final rendered product. Uh, I'll take you around that top bottom side uh, just so you could see what it's going to look like in your uh, three dimensional space. So now we're going to move on to 3D printing. I want to thank everybody for sticking with us this far. This is only going to last about another minute. You're going to see me coming in and out of the room checking on it. Uh, periodically throughout the uh, printing process. Uh, again, this was a 15-hour print, so I just wanted to make sure that everything was coming along well. 
I didn't want to waste a bunch of filament uh, if something wasn't going to turn out right. So uh, thanks everybody for watching and uh, we'll see you on the next one.